Hey, it's Willie Crawford here, and I'm uh, bringing you my very latest article, which I'm also recording as a video, so you'll uh, find the article in both my newsletter and upload it to YouTube, where I will also upload the complete text, as well as I'm uh, recording from a PDF, so I'm going to upload the entire PDF uh, to Amazon S3, and I'll have a link in the description below the video that will allow you to download that, so uh, no need to take notes. Uh, I I'm all about giving you useful information that you you can uh, you know digest put to immediate use completely free of charge. So I've titled this, entitled this article uh, title this article how I turn two cents into ten dollars over and over again at will and how you can too. That's a, a big promise, but uh, you'll see that I actually do that. Uh, for the longest time, I ignored one of the busiest sites on the internet where people go looking for things to buy. They go there looking for bargains, but they definitely go with their credit cards in hand, so they're looking to buy things they're shopping. That place is eBay, as you may have guessed and could tell from the image below. Uh, and if you haven't looked at it recently, you may be surprised. For example, uh, not only can you sell physical products on eBay. You can even sell digital products on eBay. Uh, you need to search through the help files to figure out uh, how to do that uh, because there are some rules that are slightly different. Uh, and uh, I will probably do a video uh, later on explaining how to sell digital products on eBay. So I have a whole series of uh, videos planned on eBay. This channel that you're on right now is all about different ways to make and or save money to get the most out of your money to uh, get ahead in, in life without having to work too hard and uh, you know easy ways to make money really like for me this eBay gig is uh, I'm relaxing in my garden and just growing a few extra plants okay now uh, that, that opens up open up a whole new marketplace for some of us info marketers the fact that you can sell digital products on eBay which again I'll explain in a different video there's also a newsletter capability, which lets you email all of your customers. Uh, this is a super easy way to turn one-time customers into repeat customers, since they already know, like, and trust you after they bought that first product and received it, and it was you know, satisfactory. And using the eBay system, you get near 100% deliverability. eBay's email simply gets through. I've never been expecting something from eBay that I didn't receive, and I've never had a customer say, you know, contact me in any other method saying that they didn't receive something they ordered. Uh, and, and eBay has a communication system, a messaging system where you can communicate back and forth with your customers over the eBay channel. So if a customer was expecting something from me and didn't get it, they can log back in eBay and let me know. So I know for a fact that they get everything that they expect from me. And, and eBay tracks those things very closely. Uh, so I We'll be using the newsletter capability more just to stay in touch with my customers. And, you know, as long as they're happy, they're going to buy from me over and over and over again. So this is a good thing. I'll be sharing all of this with you in, in follow-up videos that I'll post here on YouTube. And I'll teach you all about this fairly easy potential six-figure income source that you've probably overlooked. If you're quote, unquote, internet marketer or, I don't know, a network marketer or a coach or, or consultant, you know, uh, you probably overlooked eBay, and it's uh, a marketplace that you can leverage in so many ways, and people are spending money there every day. There's hundreds of millions of people on eBay, okay? So don't overlook it. Uh, and in fact, several of my mentors earn seven-figure incomes per year on eBay. However, for now, let's just look at how I turn two cents into ten dollars over and over at will, and how you can do something very similar. Now, those of you who have followed me for a while probably know that I have a green thumb. I post pictures from my uh, my garden on Facebook, and I have even a page on Facebook. It's all about gardening. And um, my wife and I, we grow many of our, the fruits and vegetables that we eat. Our, and our friends do the same thing, so we even trade uh, fruits and veggies. And I uh, don't have to buy a lot in season, So, uh, and we freeze a lot, too. We we do it because it's relaxing. I, I jokingly call it my therapy, and uh, you know I, I tend plants and they respond to my loving care, and uh, that's relaxing to me. We also don't use any harmful 
herbicides or pesticides, we use all natural methods of controlling pests, you know, the mosquitoes and insects and uh, rats and things like that, as as well as um, controlling weeds. And so uh, our veggies are nice and clean and safe. Now, one of the more exotic plants that I grow or that we grow is called Moringa, and it's known by a number of other names in different languages. Uh, for example, in the Philippines, it's called Malongai, uh, which is where I first had it. This is the size plant that I sell most often on eBay. It's, um, it's only about 10 inches tall. I, I, when I get bigger ones or have bigger ones and people want them, then I, I list them. I'll have a listing for one size, several listings, different sizes, and each size will have a price to go with it. That's the $10 size there. Moringa olifera, and I probably pronounced that wrong, it's also called uh, the drumstick tree. It's known as the miracle tree, the ben oil tree, or just ben, and it's also called a horseradish tree. Um, my wife, who is originally from the Philippines, has cooked soups, stews, and stir fries with the leaves of this plant for all the nearly 40 years that I've known her. And uh, I um, also use it in uh, smoothies and things like that. Uh, so you can you can powder it, you can dry it, you can use it fresh. Uh, and the plant is packed with an amazing number of nutrients and micronutrients. And it's revered by many doctors and nutritionists who've studied the plant. There's been lots of scientific studies on the properties, and and, all, and this plant's got more of certain uh, you know compounds in it than you know plants that we would think are loaded with uh, iron or whatever calcium, potassium, all those things. This plant is a super food. Many herbalists also use it in treating a variety of ailments. I won't get into the different ailments that it can be used to treat uh, because I don't want to make any medical or won't even dare touch that. Even though I spent much of my life studying herbal medicines and have a formal certification in herbal medicines and remedies and essential oils and things like that. So I, I do, I have studied extensively the topic, but I will encourage you to go out on the internet and, and read some of the um, things written about Moringa, and you'll see that doctors will, will quote scientific studies that show that it it is everything that people claim it is, or almost everything. People do make some outlandish claims sometimes, which, again, I'm, I'm going to avoid making. Anyway, uh, I took an interest in eBay back in January of 2022, and as I looked around and I studied what others were selling, I stumbled across the fact that people were already selling several of the plants that I grew, including Moringa. So I decided to do the same thing. Moringa is incredibly easy to grow from cuttings. Uh, you can take practically any uh, branch from a Moringa plant and cut it into sections uh, with no leaves even on there, no stems or buds or anything, and, if it, and stick it in some moist soil with or without a rooting compound and keep it moist and it'll grow roots and soon it'll start sprouting leaves and the plant can easily in a season grow 10 to 12 feet tall um, and we eat the leaves uh, fresh in, in the soups and stews and also dried uh, it can be used that way too and you in fact you could find it most often uh, online being sold in the dried form when, when you go to someplace like uh, amazon.com you'll see it the powdered moringa is actually quite expensive. Now, I started uh, 40 or so plants from cuttings, and these are some of them in the pots here, and most of them took root and, and grew. Uh, and But as I studied up plant propagation, I also discovered that many people were growing them from seeds. Uh, a lot of people on eBay do sell the cuttings. They'll sell um, 10, 15, 20 cuttings for um eight to 10 inch cuttings for 10, 15, 20 dollars plus shipping. And uh, I don't like selling cuttings because I want to sell my customers a rooted plant so that when they get it, all they do is you know stick it in wherever they want it to grow and it, it's already growing. It, they receive it, uh, it packaged in a way where when it arrives, you know it it's, uh, has sufficient moisture, hasn't dried out anything, and it's just ready to plant and go. I, I do ship by priority mail mostly, so they get customers get it in two to three days at the most. Uh, on top of that, I found that uh, that there are people on eBay that sell seeds, and I 
came across one uh, seller who offered a thousand seeds for fourteen ninety nine. That included shipping. And so uh, I ordered a thousand seeds and I planted some of them, and I was surprised that most of them germ germinated. So I did some number crunching and I said, you know, if only eighty percent of these seeds out of a thousand germinate, then I'm going to end up with eight hundred plants. You know, and uh, eight hundred plants at uh, fifteen dollars comes out to less than two cents per plant. And I sell these plants at ten dollars. I tested both the ten and the fifteen dollar price point, and um, I think I should have both listings still up. But uh, and they sold at at both price points. But I focus mostly on the ten dollar price point plus shipping. Uh, so uh, again, the customers do pay ten dollars plus the cost of priority mail, which is about another ten dollars, and uh, that's not bad. Uh, so. I've decided to order, you know, thousands more of these uh, seeds because I can basically turn a seed into ten dollars, and uh, I'll plant them in succession for as long as practical. Moringa likes warmer weather, so uh, in the winter time, when the temperature drops it, I don't know, below thirty, we uh, stick some of them in our carport, out of the wind, and and uh, it's not as cold there, and but it's still outside. And then we stick some in our Florida room. In Florida, lots of people have on their homes a, a screened-in room so they can, uh, you know, get the fresh air and have a nice view. But um, they they are protected from mosquitoes, so it's sort of an outdoor room. So we do put plants there, and sometimes we'll uh, uh, hang a, a tarp or two, and um, even stick a heater in there for temperature drops into like the mid to low twenties. But the plants do have survived well uh, in, in that environment. So uh, uh, this is how I grow the plants, and they'll grow almost anywhere in in the U.S. or wherever. As and they'll handle mine have got, had handle as high as 115 degree temperatures here in Northwest Florida, and low as in the 20s. Again, um, when it starts getting below 30, uh, they don't like it too much, and some will die if you. Don't take care of them. You know, don't protect them. Put them in some place that's at least sheltered somewhat. Uh, I highly encourage you to go ahead and research moringa yourself, and perhaps add some to your diet. Again, it's a superfood. It it is more nutritious than almost any green I can think of. Um, to include, you know, your kale and your greens and your, your cruciferous vegetables. If, if you read about it on on the internet, you will see that it is super healthy food. And so, again, I encourage you to add some to your diet. You know, uh, most people don't get enough fruits and veggies, and this stuff is it's good. Uh, I will share on uh, in, in another video some recipes that you can make from it, and I'll share those both here on YouTube and on uh, Facebook in my group there, Gardening with Willie. If you'd like to order a plant or two, my eBay uh, link is here, but I, I'll include this, the full text of this uh, PDF, which is what I'm reading right now, below the video on YouTube, so it'll be in the description. So you can just, uh, you know, click on the link to go to eBay and order it if you want to. And uh, now that I've got the eBay bug, I also have an insane number of other plants that I'm growing for sale. They're all at different stages of growth, but I grew up on a farm, so I call myself a farm boy, and to me, uh, uh, it's fun. So I'm growing moringa, loquats, uh, pomegranate, uh, calamansi, which is a type of lime. Uh, actually, I grow several, numerous citrus trees, uh, limes, oranges, lemons, uh, key lime, things like that, um, grapefruit. Uh, but but not all of those are for sale. I also have pineapple, uh, century plants, and magnolias for sale. I, and I grow more of some of those than of others. You know, for, for example, the loquat. And the moringa are the two that I grow, I've grown the most of, and uh, I can see growing thousands of each of those in 2022, probably, and uh, because I enjoy it, and it's uh, it's, it's an easy way to earn an income, and, and you know some of the plants sell for a lot when they're bigger, um, and it, if I'm having them picked up locally, I don't have to worry about the shipping, so I can let them grow, you know, five or six feet tall and sell them for you know, over a hundred bucks each or whatever. Um, note, uh, the government 
does get its share of my earnings from uh, eBay and other online marketplaces. eBay does report your income to the, if you're from the U.S., the IRS, and most other online marketplaces do too, and so do, you know, companies like uh, PayPal and all, all the processors. So the government, uh, they're in our pockets every, way, every, every which way they can be now. Uh, they're, I, I don't know, I think I'm just, Think of government employees or officials as uh, almost like termites, you know, that are just constantly eating away at our earning power. But that's a topic for another discussion. That's it for this video, but stay tuned for others where I'll teach you more of the ins and outs of being an eBayer. To your success, Willie Crawford, and I'm branding myself in some places as the modern Midas uh, because if you remember the legend of uh, Midas, King Midas. Everything he touched turned to gold, and while not everything I touched turns to gold, I do uh, succeed in, a, in, a, in numerous areas, uh, areas such as ranking and renting websites. I've created my own courses, my own membership sites, uh, and I do consulting. Uh, like I even own shares in, in a couple of mines, gold mines and silver mines. And so uh, this channel is actually set up to teach you different ways to um, to make money and to save money. And so this is uh, one of many videos that I will be doing. Hopefully I'll do two or three a week, but uh, I have to you know get on a schedule. And I'm working with new equipment now, uh, new microphone, uh, new cameras, new a lot of things that I'm still getting used to. And some things that I'm still waiting for, you know, banners and backdrops and things like that. So, uh, this one is done a low budget, you know, this is a ghetto video. Uh, but I, I do uh, ask you that before you leave to like the channel and to subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, uh, whenever I post a new video, uh, YouTube will let you know that I post a new video so you won't miss any. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, uh, and I'll put a link to that somewhere too, probably below the video. But... Um, the uh, newsletter, with the newsletter, unless it's with the eBay newsletter, um, deliverability can be a problem. Sometimes email is not always reliable. Uh, so why not, uh, you know, tune in to my, many of my videos here on YouTube, and uh, that way you'll make sure you don't miss any important announcements. This is Willie, and I thank you for listening.